Good evening, once again, ladies and germs. Welcome back to Cooking on the Rim. My name is Quish. I'm here to try my damn hardest. How's everybody doing today? You know, uh, I see a couple people mentioning uh, the the Urban Mac video, the dumpster flying and all that. I had no idea that that was the same song the first time I watched it. I seriously, like, so I watched the the remaster when he premiered it, and I watched the end. I'm like, oh, man, this is a banger. This song rules. Urban Max, like, all, all race and stuff, Irby Derby. I was, I was getting excited. It wasn't until I watched it the second time when he just released that animation that I was like, wait a minute, I know that song. <laughs> That's the song at the, uh, at the beginning, the beginning of the, the room world. And I have to assume it's it's just a coincidence. I don't know if it was uh, Tax or one of the editors, or even if it was um, uh, Bruins, who I believe animated it, like if they were the one to put the music in. But uh, I just have to assume that uh, we all have really good taste in uh, video game music. But I'm glad you guys like it too, because it felt pretty cool to me getting to see a cool video with, with a song that I like in it. But anyway, so we're going to, we're going to get back to, to, to cooking on the rim on the filthy try hard playthrough. We may actually finish this game today. If we do, it'll be really cool. Cause I've never done that before. What's up Diggs? Station manager Diggs, keeping everything running behind the scenes. He agrees that we all have good taste in music. What's up, Rimward Herald? What's up, TK? Rimward Herald. Derby nachos with brisket. Mmm, brisket nachos sound good. Good. 
All right, so we got a decent sized colony going on right now. We got five people in the colony doing their jobs. We got an away team coming back. Uh, I think we were trying to get a Persona core. That is the piece that we're currently missing to actually constructing the spaceship. So right now we have, we're gonna need some advanced components. We need a lot of advanced components. Okay, I'm saying that we're getting close here. By that, I mean we have all of the research done. It's a matter of getting all of this components and stuff built together. So we're going to need some gold. We're going to need a decent amount of plasteel. Probably more than we have. Let's take a quick uh, check to see how many advanced components we're actually going to need. I think we can get by with just the single structural beam. So that's one. Uh, it's going to be three for every person we try to take with us. Man, this is going to take a while. So let's say if we take five people with us, that's 15. Which means we're probably going to need two structural beams. Fifteen, uh, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-nine, thirty-five. Somewhere in the neighborhood of forty-one to forty-five advanced components, which is going to be kind of hard to put together for sure. We're also going to need a lot of plasteel. All right. Castus is uh, doing the doing the needful over here, burying bodies. So we have all the research, but we definitely don't have all of the uh, all of the raw materials. Let's see, collection of items: seven manhunting monkeys for a marine helmet. Nah, I think I'm good. Thanks. We are doing okay on... Oh, maybe we're not doing okay on power. What's going on here? Did... Oh, yeah. That might help. Oh, got some more down here. Someone's... Someone's cutting the power. All right, let's crank up speed. Oh, shit. Damn nature, you scary. Bear just ate that dude. He's not even gonna he's not even gonna eat, it just felt like killing him. Just, this grizzly bear just decided it, it it just woke up and chose violence. What's up, load? Load one. Oh, hey, there's some stuff down here. Feeling sick today? I'm sorry to hear that. I think that, uh, I think that the crud is sweeping the nation. I myself have been fighting a bit of a head cold. You'll probably hear that in the, uh, in the audio. Ooh. Recruitment shall begin. Load, uh, make sure you stay nice and hydrated. Get plenty of rest. Kick back and watch a little bit of RimWorld. All just eating some raw meat. People a lot outside right now? Okay. Shaggy, are you uh, are you currently working on this? I feel like this is an important project for you to be working on right now. Yeah, let's get this power going. All right, now we're well above our grid. 
In fact, uh, we probably didn't need to build all of these. We probably uh, built extra ones because we didn't realize that some of them were disconnected. Oh, you're in Ontario. Well, that's kind of like, uh, kind of like across the nation. You're you're a nation. Uh, head cold thing. Yeah, stuffy and runny. All right, well, I think we can go ahead and smooth this out. Oh, we got a new recruit. Got a new recruit. Named Foxy. Let's see, Foxy is a coma child who uh, probably works at a gas station somewhere. She hates men. She uh, doesn't believe in body piercings. She really likes drugs. She's good at cooking, good at plants, good at animals, good at medical, good at social. Yeah, she's a solid colonist. I remember why we picked her up for sure. Uh, let's see, because she is good at doctoring, we'll put her on as a backup doctor. She's good at wardening, so we'll have her do some of that. Uh, actually, we'll have her do some handling as well. I think we're going to have her backup cook, and her primary function is going to be to help with uh, working on grow stuff. Let's set her up with work schedule. And then, of course, the most important thing is that she needs a new nickname. For that, we need the wheel. The wheel of names. That's right. It's the most electrifying move in sports entertainment. Let's find out who is going to be this colonist. Opcure. Opcure, welcome back to the colony. Let's take Opcure off the list. And you know what? I did not check to see if uh, Naming Game Redeem is enabled. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. Send the wheel back to the void. And the name of the game is currently enabled. So if you'd like to get your name into this game, all you gotta do is spend some of that hard-earned goob. Alright, Opcure is in the is in the colony. Uh what are they good with as far as fighting? They're not. They're not good at fighting. Uh so we will give them a shotgun. Because, you know, if you're not a good shot, you could do worse than a shotgun. All right, what's going on here, you guys? Oh, they're still heading towards the... I thought they were on their way back. They're heading towards the this place, which has a Persona core that we want to trade for. All right, and we are going to give them gifts. We will give them gifts of Jade. Uh, That will up our... Ups it by five. Say anywhere on here what our current 
uh, our current um, reputation, that's the word I was looking for, is with them. I have no idea. Might have to give them some rice, too, while we're at it. Uh, so we're up to 43. And what do we need in order to... Well, there's a raid. It's like two raids. We'll, uh... Check in on that in just a second. This guy is dodging all of the traps, except for that last one, of course. And... All right. Handled. All right, so what we got here, uh, we got Borbai, who's a tender. He's unwaveringly loyal, so no chance of recruiting him. We got Pheasant, who's a butcher. They're incapable of dumb labor. Um, so I think, I think that's, uh, I think that's all we're going to do. Let's see, Orc Slayers, I believe, is our social. Put out these fires. All right, so we have enough to do the Persona Core. All right. So there's a collection of valuable items including the Persona Core. Oh, well, the Persona Core is the valuable item. Okay. Let's do this. Let's, um... Get you guys coming back. Put this fire out. Probably going to have to rebuild... Probably going to have to rebuild. No big deal. Looks like we might need to build another mass grave here. Hey, Durberger, how you doing? Sorry, I haven't been checking the uh, the chat there. Uh, we have all of the necessary research to build the spaceship. We don't have anywhere near the the plasteel or the advanced components. We're probably going to need somewhere in the neighborhood of about 40 to 45 components, advanced components to do it. Gonna drop good at cooking and plants just because of no cleaning. Well, dumb labor is is not a deal breaker when you have a lot of colonists, I guess. But I also have a lot of colonists, and I don't really need another mouth to feed. Speaking of which, do we have enough beds? Yeah, we got we got two beds open. <laughs> yeah, it looks like we need to just build another mass grave there. Uh, we're going to need some trees. Let's go ahead and chop them down. Oh, Thunderclap uh, just redeemed a water break. Well, I have some, some nice uh, warm herbal tea that I've been drinking, so I'll take another sip of that. He also redeemed a stretch, so let's go ahead and get one of those in. Uh, 
here we go. Thank you, Thunderclap, for keeping me uh, keep me healthy. Castus, no, you're still alive, man. Still kicking. Still kicking. Still in a good mood. Ooh. I was one of those stretches where my ears popped. Now we got a pretty decent uh pretty decent colony uh set up. The bulk goods trader. In the morning we'll have orc slayers. Give them a call. Mad Buck. Uh, you gonna? Oh, sir. Yep. Yeah, let's uh, let's keep everybody inside for now, huh? Do have to build a new door here. All right, Orc Slayers, if you could uh, call this bulk goods trader up. They have ducks, they have Yorkshire Terriers, they have pigs, they have donkeys, they have nutrient-based meals. Um, They have some advanced components. They have a single one, so we'll buy that. Uh, as far as things that we can sell, uh, they have some plasteel. Sell the jade. Sell the uranium. Uh, we'll smell. Sell, we'll smell. Uh, we'll sell, sell them some smells. Um, sell them some beer. Yeah, we definitely do not have enough money for all this. Don't want to sell the steel. All right. Uh. Reset. Want to buy the advanced component. And I want to buy some amount of plasteel. What else did I have on there that I was trying to, trying to, I don't know. I don't know what it did. Uh, we'll sell the jade. Sell the uranium. The ambrosia, the smoke leaf joints, various leathers. And then try to get as much of this plasteel as we can. Not bad, it's way too much. All right, that would give us 200 plasteel and a little bit of cash. Awesome. Some thrombos have decided to hang out. All right, they would like 21 toboggans. 
in exchange for some really weird stuff. <laughs> They're like, let's say, let's sell you this this science fiction insanity gun uh and some silver or something that literally brings people back from the dead in exchange for some Walmart hats. All right, we got recon armor. What else we researching? Uh deep drilling sure. Let's see. Our away team is almost back. Get this wood in. All right, caravan is back. Yeah, we are going to need some decent armor. We've got flak armor available to us. We just researched um, recon armor. Is that going to be built? That's probably got to be built at a fabrication bench, right? Yeah, it probably has to be built at a fabrication bench. So let's do... Problem is, uh, good armor also requires uh, components and stuff that we don't really want to spend on armor when we could probably trade for it. So we'll be looking out for decent armor in trade. Uh, we have a bulk goods trader coming by again. Oh, they're an actual bulk goods trader, not a uh, not a spaceship. Up here, you're like a social person, right? Yeah. Do some, could do some talking. Okay, we could sell them some food that we're not needing. They have two advanced components, so we'll buy both of those. Sell this T-shirt. We'll keep the parka because we've got new colonists coming in. Uh, we could sell the venison. We could sell like 500 rice. That should still keep us uh, plenty fed because we've got indoor growing go going now. There's some silly gooses. Got some have some silly gooses. All right. That's two advanced components. That's right. How cow? I know some of you guys play uh, Magic the Gathering. There's a Magic the Gathering card called the Golden Goose. It's like a little little mana creature. Whenever I would play a, a Golden Goose, I would always honk like that at people. Honk, honk. Pretty sure I stole that from somebody else, though. Thunderclap Sasquatch has redeemed highlight my message. They have an important question. Tell you what, such an important question. We're gonna make it nice and big and easy to read. O oh, streamer of the station, I ask you of your wisdom, what would you name a dancer turned Lovecraftian cultist? Well, that's easy. That requires the wheel. The wheel of names. So let's find out who this uh, 
dancing cultist would be. Itamu. Itamu should be your dancing cultist. That's what I would say. All right, now let's see if I can make this fit again. Yeah, that's not too bad. Look at that. Got it on the first try. Atamu, Lady of the Yellow Rose. Perfect. That's a solid cultist name right there. They left us a gift. They left us Glitter World Medicine? Oh, man, that's so nice of them. We will totally use that to perform experiments on people. You guys ever play um, the card game Munchkin? There was a uh, Cthulhu version of Munchkin. And uh, it had kind of like a special rule where um, if everybody in the game ended up being a cultist, then the game was over and whoever was the highest level was the winner. And... Um, you could like force people to be cultists in all sorts of ways. Uh, my favorite one was the card whack in the head. So like you would just hit somebody in the head really hard and then they would be a cultist. Yeah, everything has been a Munchkin expansion for sure. Uh, Steve Jackson does not give zero fucks. He will he will put everything on everything. All right, let's. Uh... I guess this is going to be my researching room. We have a new recruit, Hughes. Hughes has decided to join. What's Hughes good at? Uh, Hughes is also good at cooking and plants, also good at crafting, art, and social. And they're a night owl. That's actually very solid because that means they can do cooking and plants and stuff at night with Sir Shaggio while my other colonists are doing things. That's a solid, solid colonist. Um, okay, so Hughes, uh, not much of a doctor. Can be a nighttime warden. Do some nighttime cooking. Yeah, we'll do have them do crafting when, when they don't have anything else to do. And let's hook you up with a nighttime schedule. And of course, the most important thing is they need a name. Mauer 4, welcome to the colony. <coughs> Let's get Mauer off the list here. And back to the void. Okay, yeah, well, now we got two, uh, two night owls, which is cool. Oh, they're immediately going to go on a food binge. The, the, their final straw was they ate a nutrient paste meal, so they're going to go on a food binge and eat more nutrient paste meals. They're also not good at fighting at all. Just on Thunderclap, uh, reacting to each other in only the way that they can. It's 
true. It's a good outlook to have thunderclap. Good outlook. All right, so this will be our fabrication room. Uh, we could put power in here. Oh, no, that's... uh Got to smooth these first. All right, production, we'll put a, oh, come on guys, fabrication bench in here, I guess we made it just like one too big, didn't we? Oh well, good enough. Anything else we need to put in this room? Don't think so. Uh, let's put some concrete in here. Couple of wall lights. Yeah, we're just researching all sorts of dumb stuff now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think I was uh, expecting to only need to build four deep here, but that's fine. All right, what can we build here? Advanced components, take gold, regular components, steel, and plasteel. Um, recon helmets, take advanced components. Recon armor, make advanced components. So we're going to need some gold. We need gold and regular components eventually. Let's go ahead and start uh, making sure that we don't have any loose components around the map that we can mine up. Pretty sure we had done a good job of collecting all of it. Could build a uh, deep drill. Oh, we need the uh, ground penetrating scanner first, don't we? Uh, this could go like right here, huh? Let's, uh, there's long range mineral scanner and, uh, ground penetrating scanner. Doesn't work under a roof, so it has to be outside. So this will find stuff on other maps. 
So this guy needs to be outside. Dags is getting stuff built. Okay, so how do you tell people to use it? Who's our best researcher right now? Yeah, let's have Samurai take a break from reading books. Is he just gonna not? Yeah, I'm not sure how that works, but we'll figure it out. Somebody is unhappily nude. Samurai, why are you nude? Just take off your pants. I get you. Make some pants. There you go. Now you got pants. Your penis is no longer hanging out. These pants have been donated to you by the Night Owl. Uh, do we have medical beds? We do. Uh, so we could uh, start working on better, better guns. Um, we could. Hospital beds require a lot of components. Yeah, we'll hold, hold off on that for now. Yeah, vital monitor also take a lot of, a lot of components that we don't have. All right, do I have to? Let's turn the power off on this guy. Maybe since there's only one, he'll go back to only he'll go back to working on that.
<clears throat> Excuse me. Found some steel underground. Uh, way the heck up here. It doesn't seem like it's worth it. Three hundred steel underground here. No, thank you. Okay, so. Now that there's only one research bench available, he'll prioritize to working on that. Guess I could build a deep drill because you can move these, right? Of course, Diggs is going to want to build the uh, deep drill because he likes to dig. Uh, it's summer. Why aren't I using the outdoor fertile area for more food? Honestly, we're getting plenty of food from this. Um, so I don't really need to be growing right here. I guess I could, though. I guess you're not wrong. Uh, grows in by terrain. Let's turn this into corn. Go ahead and make ourselves some side corn. Beer's a little labor intensive, but you're right. It is definitely, uh, like all drugs in this game, very monetarily viable. Currently, we're uh, using smoke leaf for that purpose. Uh, so you're just going to start digging there. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna have you dig right now. So we don't need to wake up the bugs. I guess we could try to bring in some more wood. Oh, we researched auto cannon turrets. Cool. Mar also does not have any kind of fighting ability. We should give you something. So that something will probably be a shotgun. But we'll wait till you wake up for that. And I think we are maxed out on beds right now. So let's go ahead and start making some more bedrooms all 
actually, instead of deconstructing it, let's just reinstall it right there. Imagine, like, being in the bedroom that's just, you know, one thin wall away from a spooky cave that bugs could be living in. See about getting a choke point hallway to the kill box? That's a good idea. Could, like, set that up around here. Oh, yeah, Samurai, that's, uh, yeah. <laughs> the law over here is just, uh, he's got to vent right to that room. He knows what that smell is. <laughs> What's up, Sea Winner? I haven't seen you in a while. Dags is just making holes with his hands. I guess he does have to deconstruct that or at the very least uh, move it to some place where he can get to it. Oh, you got COVID right before Christmas. That stinks, my dude. Hope you're on the mend. COVID was no fun for me. I know it's got to be no fun for everybody else, too. Mid Christmas shitty. Yeah, imagine so. Like, you got to stay away from kids and whatnot Actually, you know what let's cancel we're gonna put marble walls in since we have some marble it's not a whole lot but it will make that one section of the wall extra pretty A pack of ooh, man hunting wargs. That is ooh, that is no joke. That is not a joke. Everybody, get the fuck inside. All right, let's uh, let's wake up the crew. Uh, Mar still needs to grab a weapon, so let's, uh, oh, you just happen to be in the weapon room. Is that all of them? Okay. Not too bad. Let's get these uh, genetically engineered killing machines out of the way. We've got a mad boom rat. Gonna probably blow up something. Oh no! Oh no! Dags! 
Dags is going to have to stand his ground. There we go. Uh, Diggs, uh, you just go. You're on, you're on fire. Grimos, uh, can you, uh, yeah, can you, uh, yeah, help put that out? There we go. Diggs got a little bit of the, the Zim Zam. It'll be all right, then. Uh, you know what we should probably do is we should put everybody to not Glitter World Medicine for right now. So we don't want to use all that up if we don't have to. We'll save it for... Uh... Gnarly stuff like turbo diseases or major injuries. All right, back to research. Uh, Multi-barrel weapons, miniguns, sure. The walls and an inspired recruitment. And we have so many people in our colony now, it's great. So many friends. I miss that Castus was talking to Lord Grimos. Uh, yeah, Combat Extended is a pretty wild mod. Makes the game a little bit more interesting. Oh, uh, I betcha. Yeah. Let's uh, expand our zone. run power up and through here and we could probably put like another another couple of bedrooms up in here All right. The sea winner says that uh, his car was on fire today. Uh... Oh, a little zip of ether. And it backfired. Yeah, that'll that'll do it. Um, ether is uh quite flammable. You got it started though. That's good to hear. Good to hear. It's more unhappy nudity, Sir Shaggy. -o. Apparently missing pants. Apparently missing. Uh, most people are missing like clothes altogether. So let's do this. Let's uh let's make like. 10 pairs of pants and 10 t-shirts. There we go. Samurai says when he drove up to Baltimore, 
uh, passed a car outside of Richmond that was burning itself down to the frame. Holy shit. Was it a, uh, an electric car? Because that, that's pretty terrifying. <laughs> I know those uh, lithium batteries, like once they, once they get pierced and they start burning, like they just do not stop. Masterwork pants. Holy shit. That is some masterwork pants. Some sort of SUV. Okay. I can guess it still still could be a like an like a hybrid. I know they they're doing that with a lot of modern uh, SUVs. They're they're hybridizing them. Not this uh, past Christmas, but the Christmas before, uh, my car uh, crapped the bed on me. Oh, you know what? Before I start to think about that story, I totally forgot. Yeah, this expires in seven days. Expires in 17 days. So I do need to get that taken care of. But yeah, I uh, not last Christmas, but the Christmas before, uh, my car shit the bed on me, and I had to take it to the shop. And I had a rental car for about two weeks, and um, the rental car was this uh, Subaru. It was like an Xterra or something like that, or like an Outback or something, but like a kind of like a an SUV or not. I guess a, kind of like an SUV, like hot, uh, like crossover kind of vehicle. Um, which was kind of nice in the, in the cold weather with the snow and whatnot. Um, see <laughs> winner just resubscribed for 15 months. Welcome back. Praise Zorg indeed. Um, but yeah, it was a, uh, it was a hybrid. So that had like a battery in it. Um, and, uh, it was so weird. Like when you'd be sitting at a, at a stoplight, it would be dead quiet. And it would like launch like it was starting again when you would uh, when you would uh, touch the gas. So strange. Was not used to that. Not used to that at all. All right. So we need to send an away team to go collect the Persona Core. If a combat supplier, they're a trade ship. Well. Uh, Mar. Let's go see what this trade ship has to offer. Right off the bat, let's sell them all of the smoke leaf joints. Let's sell them most of these Garbo weapons that we do not need. Uh, let's see, we sell a revolver, we'll keep this auto pistol, we'll keep, and the machine pistol, just to have extras. They do have recon armor and recon helmets, but they are quite expensive. So I think what we're going to do is just sit on it. The, the money, not, uh... Not it, you know, you know, the, the, the proverbial it. All right, so we are going to send an away team. So let's take a look at our squads. We're probably going to need somebody with a research. Um, and I think it might be orc slayers that we send. It's good at shooting. So we'll set orc slayers. We'll send the law. We could send whiskey. Keep digs here. Lord Grimace, you gotta have a better weapon than that than that gun, dude. We not have something better for you than that. We'll give you the auto pistol for now. Um. Yeah, Grimace is a badass. Castus, Mar, not badasses. Opkir, not a badass. So we'll send Grimos, we'll send uh, Orc Slayers, we'll send the Law, send Whiskey, and we'll send Digs.
All right. It is quest time. Oh, is that not us? Oh, no, we're way the hell down here. It's going to be a long journey. It's going to be a long journey. All right, so we'll send, uh, who do we say? Diggs, Gremos, Orc Slayers, Whiskey, and the Law. Send five people. Not going to send you with any gear or like money or anything. We'll send you with a crap load of rice. It's medicine. Actually, you know what? We'll, uh, we'll send you like a couple of the Glitter World medicines too, just in case something serious happens. chickens no we, unfortunately we we ate all of our chickens <laughs> all right this is where it happens all right let's take a look make sure one last time we did not want to send digs we did not want to send digs at all we wanted to send Uh, Grimos, Orc Slayers, The Law, Whiskey. All right, we didn't really want to send Diggs, but we'll go ahead and send Diggs. <laughs> we did have a bunch of chickens at one point. Uh, we, we had them, like, right in here, and it got to the point where it was freezing cold, and we, we were running out of food, so we just ate all the chickens. I mean, we were trying to do the thing where, like, you'd eat the eat the chickens, like, as they grew up. Uh, but they were just, they were propagating at such an exponential rate, we just couldn't feed them. Uh, you know what we'll do? Yeah, we'll, we'll hold off on research for right now, and we'll just spend some time, uh... Scanning for minerals. <laughs> oh no! Corn has got a blight. Chop it down before it gets spreading too far. <laughs> Look. If you and Cookie Mama did not want to be eaten, then you would not be made of tasty food. That's all I gotta say. It's definitely your fault. <laughs> uh, well, you know what? I, I may be a monster. I may be a monster, that's for sure. The reason you're putting onions there and not there. Caravan is met by another caravan. We didn't bring anything in trade. And they don't have anything that we want. Oh, they do have some gold. <coughs> We'll move on. Uh, what was I? What was I looking at here? Yeah, I was trying to not have them put onions here. There we go. And now they should put it over here. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> That's a solid quote. Thank you, Grimace. Uh, hopefully, I like. I never like have to run for office or anything, because I feel like there's a lot of quotes that, uh, taken out of context from playing this game, would probably be very incriminating. Yeah, there's a lot of a lot of incriminating evidence against me. And we found some more steel. Over here. Three hundred steel. <coughs> Excuse me. Steel is not a big deal right now. We have we have surface steel that we can dig up. It's not worth uh, angering the, the bugs. Right now we're looking for things like components or plasteel or uranium or gold, anything like that. You know, I don't have any, uh, bed rolls. I probably could, could make some bed rolls for stuff like this. The law is apparently uh, having a bad day. Is it because of mood? Also because he has been rebuffed by dags. He's in intense pain. I also intentionally left the two uh, night owls back in the colony. Uh, is Dig still burned? No, Diggs is at a uh, hundred percent. Slow moving because of a uh, bad leg. Why is he in severe pain? He has food poisoning. He also has a brain scar. Being stabbed in the brain. Yeah, rice will give you food poisoning, especially if you don't cook it first. <laughs> Just eating handfuls of raw rice. All right, we're almost here. Okay. SWAT team our way in. There's going to be a trap of some sort, I'm sure. Yeah, ambush. Oh, it's a it's a robot. Bring it down. Good job, guys. Okay.
All right, now we can reform the caravan. Get back home. Take the Persona Core with us. And yeah, might as well bring this Scyther with us. He might have some, uh, some stuff in him. We are probably going to get close to running out of food before we get back home, but... Yeah, just a random shack. Just out in the desert. It happens to have an AI brain, you know, just sitting in it, chilling. Definitely not a trap. Oh, we're paused. That's what's going on here. All right. Get back to it. Looks like we are out of marble. All these in. And you know it's probably not a bad idea for us to uh, make some small wooden sculptures. Do until we have, oh, I don't know, like 20 of them. Only going to make it out of wood. <laughs> well, so Derberger, we don't we don't actually need twenty wood sculptures because we already have a bunch uh, in the base. So I'll put a couple more into extra bedrooms, and then we'll turn the wood into money. That's one of the uh, the cheapest ways to make money in this game is to turn wood into dollars because just about everybody will buy art. Of course, do we have anybody doing art? That is a good question. We do not. Uh, so, Opcure. You can do art when you've got nothing better to work on. Plasteel, that's what I'm talking about. Right over here. Uh, what I'm going to do is just put some plan squares over here. And oh no, they've run out of food. They're close to the base, though. Should be all right. I'm 
Mar has passion in art. They do. They do. Opkir does not. You are correct. So we'll do it that way. Good call. Although I think Opkir is not a night owl and Maurer is. So let's have them both working on art. So I could work on it when the other one's not there. Uh, it's wearing the tainted flak vest. Turn that off. Right. Oh, we gotta get power out to it too, don't we? Yeah, that's probably still the way to do it. You guys gonna make it? Yeah, they'll be all right. What's the worst that could happen? Come on, guys. Just, just another, another couple of hexes. There's food waiting for you right here at the colony. We got all the... Coldstone, Cream Austin, Steve Weiser's you can drink. Yeah, that's in theory a lot of plasteel. In theory. Hopefully we don't awaken any bugs in the process. Uh, you guys are so close. Should probably make some, <laughs> some bed rolls. <laughs> Should probably make some bed rolls. Uh... Yeah, in the future, let's make like five bed rolls for away missions. Some good art. Let's read what this art is. Name of this art is Patience Number Lots of Things. This piece represents Castus 223, scribing text on... Uh, uh, Abby Star's grave and consumed in thought, dozens of bison rest near the scene. The scene takes place inside of an encampment built near the basin. This image refers to Cassus 223 laying Abby to rest on the 6th of August, 5502. Beautiful. Let's install that in this room. And then, uh,. Install a poem of Whiskey Pea Green. This carving shows a warg brutally hurting Whiskey Pea Green with quick, efficient movements. Whiskey Pea Green is covered in viscera. The work makes the viewer think of seclusion. Images bordered by nine artichokes. Man, this is some weird ass art. Some avant garde shit right here. I'm gonna put that right in here. All right, Diggs is on a uh, uh, a wander. 
the caravan is back. Everybody's going to be in a pretty bad mood, but everybody gets to eat now. You know what I should probably do is under the outfits. I should probably not let people wear tainted apparel. That's probably a good idea. All right, well, we have a Persona Core. It is right here. You're dangerously low on food. What are you talking about? You have plenty of food. Top cure, got into a fight with somebody. Law, it looks like. Oh, the law actually needs uh, medical attention. Uh, who is actually the doctor? I forget. Who is Am Doctor? Oh, Mar is a uh, no, not a not a nighttime doctor. Okay, Lord Grimos, you could uh, be so kind. Let's put some band-aids on this guy's boo-boos. All right. Well, I know I, I had lofty uh, goals at the beginning here of um, having uh, this game beaten by the end of the end of the stream today, but uh, we did get we did get one step closer, and that was getting the persona core that's the that's the one thing that's the hardest to get i think normally currently uh we're digging up some more plasteel gonna need gold and we're gonna need advanced components ah yes the prosciutto core Uh, you know what? We should probably just go ahead and build like shitloads of components. Do until you have like 200 components. Details. Drop on floor. Shrink the radius. Something to do. It's what twelve steel for uh for a component. Could probably built a chair in here, huh? Man, Sir Shaggy is just going to sit out here and mine Plasteel all night long. Love it. Yep, hospital beds are up there. Now that we've got uh, components coming in. Let's go ahead and have... Oh, wow, that's a lot of steel. Yeah. Get Diggs working on that.
Or I guess Sir Shaggy is going to prioritize that over this, huh? Yeah, that's a lot of steel. Holy shit. Plus we have like all these uh, ship parts just chilling. Okay, we're not that low on food, guys. Chill out. Okay, guys. I don't know why, like, every time I get a notification, it uh, takes me out of what I was trying to do. That's all right. Yeah, okay, so we got that going on. And Prince of Armor is such a good boy. Just picking stuff up and carrying it places. We have an awful sculpture. All right, we can sell some of that. All right, plenty of food. Nothing to worry about. Diggs is going to dig like crazy. No, we should probably do. Let's build a little uh, torch lamp in here for him. Diggs so fast loves doing it A defoliator ship. Oh boy. Okay. Let's see what we got going on here. We have a Scyther. We have one Pikeman. So two Scythers, two Lancers, and a Pikeman. All right. We will wait until the day to attack that because it is raining and dark, which is bad for visibility. And I'll probably attack them from up here. Got a little bit of an empty space right here for uh, lack of cover. Oh boy, this is going to be bad. All right. Not, well, no, we'll just go ahead and bring everybody. Everybody dies. Wake him up, come on. He has like the worst shooting skill. <laughs> okay. Can 
Can I just get him shooting at the... Okay, everybody up. All right, pretzel bomber, get in there. Right, let's beat this one down. Beat this robot up. All right. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Took some damage, of course. Uh, let's take a look at everyone's health. Work Slayers is in bad shape. Lots of people are in bad shape, but um, Lord Grimos is getting everybody healed up. Uh, Whiskey, if you could rescue this guy. And... Grimos, if you could tend, please. Dags, you are... You're fine. Lost a toe. Holy shit, cat. Oh, no! Obcure's stomach was destroyed. Oh no. How do you live from that? Oh no. Uh Well that's bad. That's 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 I would dare say that that's very bad. He's just going to have to butt chug all of his food now. Can we make a bionic stomach for you? A bionic stomach. Oh, man, it costs like three advanced components, though. All right, we'll be on the lookout for, uh, for a bionic stomach. <coughs> yeah, I could, uh, I could, I could, um surgically remove a stomach from somebody else couldn't I all said and done that is probably the smoothest I think I've ever just attacked a bunch of robots before usually it does not go that easy the only real casualty was like a toe and a stomach.
Look, he's just got a little bit of extreme blood loss. He'll be fine. Just enjoy the enjoy the, the severe amounts of drugs that we're going to be giving you. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm just, like, snotting everywhere, guys. I'm sure that's not fun to listen to. I mean, this will be great for uh, Opcure's figure, for sure. Uh, it looks like only Orc Slayer lost his weapon. Oh, they are a body purist, aren't they? Oh, no. Artificial body parts and xenogenes are unethical. Oh no! Samurai and Diggs are getting a divorce. Guys! Oh no! That's sad. Well, you know, I guess, uh, I guess everybody's got to move on, you know? All right, why do they keep putting that on? Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, that's why. Pretty sure I told them not to do that. <laughs> Ooh. Samurai, that's, a, that's, that's what we in the industry like to call a big oof. That's a big oof there, sir. Well, you know, Samurai's only got got eyes for uh, for Opkir, who uh, is is due to have quite the figure for sure. Got more plasteel. Sorry, I'm blowing up here. Good. We are getting close to the end of the stream today. Probably going to call it in about 10 to 15 minutes. Oh, got a mad gazelle. It is, uh, it is thirsty for blood. You know what? If you guys could just... Uh... Oh, it's it's going to take care of itself. Okay, never mind. Um, but yeah, the uh, stream's going to end here probably in about 15 minutes. But coming up next is Pandora Pirate Radio with Warlocks and Friends, Squick, Bouncy Time, maybe even Bulk, possibly others. Who knows? Should be an exciting time. If you're looking for some more entertainment after the stream today, there'll be another stream. All right, Diggs is going to be digging up some plasteel. <laughs> RimWorld makes you want to play Space Station, which makes you want to play RimWorld. 
You know, something that, that probably uh, hurts my nerd cred is while I've watched lots of people play Playsta or, um, Space Station 13 and 14 now, I almost said PlayStation 13, um, Space Station 13, I've watched a lot of people play it. I've never actually played it myself. All right, all the steel's in. We can deconstruct that. Yeah, that puts us uh, in the neighborhood of almost uh, getting close to 6,000 steel. That should be plenty. Start building some components. <laughs> PlayStation 13 in like 80 years. Yeah, Sony will probably still be around. Yeah, we're not doing that. All right. Well, we do have a decent number of components now. Let's go ahead and upgrade these to medical beds. And vitals monitor. Oh, now we want to uh, build those facing the right way. Now, a real filthy tryhard would probably set these beds up in like a uh, like a circle, and then put one vitals monitor in between all of them. That's the kind of thing a real filthy tryhard would do. Yeah, if you uh built everything in a big circle around it, uh you can you can have one monitor for four beds. But it's all right. Sorry, uh, again, getting notifications here that I had to clear. Uh, Dirk Donk, that is correct. That is a, uh, fully optimized growing indoor situation.
All right. Sorry, I was just vibing there for a second. Just enjoying the, the sweet, sweet vibes. You like the dwarven layout? I'm a big fan of uh, this this kind of style of colony where you've got like like an open space in the middle and then you just kind of build buildings around that open space in a mountain. Because it gives you the open space for, for, the, for the people who need to like, you know, touch grass and look at the sun and whatnot. And also for like growing and stuff. But then, like, you know, you, you don't have to use as much building materials digging into the mountain. And, of course, digging into the mountain will have you find more building materials. Uh, so, yeah, the uh, uh, Dirk Donk, the, uh, the spot that we chose was, was like this kind of on purpose. Um, you know, we dug out uh, a little bit of a space here to build our uh, uh, defensive area. But it kind of rolled up into this little like uh, internal spot here, which we kind of squared off a little bit because there was some um, fertile soil in this little cubby. It's very easy to defend to defend base. It's got uh, good starting food. And there were lots of uh, geothermal vents for electricity situated all around it. Great. Well, I'll tell you what, I feel like we're at a pretty calm stopping point here, so we're going to go ahead and uh, close up the stream for the day. My name is uh, Quish. This has been Cooking on the Rim. I stream Rim World every Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I should be back again next Monday with some more Cooking on the Rim. Coming up next, we got Pandora Pirate Radio with uh, Bouncy Time, Squick, The Warlax, possibly others. I have no idea what the hell they're going to play, but I'm sure it's going to be awesome. So if you're interested in some more stuff, stick around. I'm sure they'll be happy to oblige. I'm going to go ahead and leave you with a word from our sponsor. We'll see you next time. Hey, kids. Do you like breakfast? Yeah. yeah. Well, you're gonna love self-heating maple bacon breakfast logs from Randy Checkers. Cool. That's right, kids. Just crack my log like a glow stick and watch the magic happen. Delicious breakfast perfectly heated in less than 30 seconds. Move over, Jimmy Dean. There's a new sausage chef in town, and his name, Randy Checkers. Warning, Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs contain substances known to cause cancer in the state of California, and is part of a balanced breakfast. Randy Checkers maple bacon breakfast logs, hell yeah!